Whether you love or hate them, demolitions are simply a part of how Rocket League is played. As someone who personally loves demos, I set out to create the most explosive game that Rocket League has ever seen, and the result was nothing short of spectacular. What is going on guys, Horizon here, and welcome back to another episode of Bot Bonanza, the series where we make bots do idiotic things for your entertainment. Today, we find out what happens when you give every level of bot, from beginner to all-star, friendly fire, and demo on contact. This is the story of Absolute Mayhem. Naturally, with this experiment, we want to see as much carnage as possible. That is why I decided to play all of these games out as 4v4 matches. Now, the real question we are asking today is which level of bot can secure the most demos in a 5 minute match? Will it be the fast moving all stars or the snail paced beginners? Before we find out, as always, if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you give the video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. You guys all know what to do and I greatly appreciate it. With that out of the way, let's get right into it. Of course, we are going to begin with the beginner bots. And if it is one thing these guys are known for, it is how fast they are. Just look at them. They are speed and oh wow these bots are certainly not wasting any time in getting out of the gate we already see a couple of demos right off the bat but lo and behold the beginner bots starting out strong with a goal from hound and a nice pass from mountain wow really honestly didn't see that coming there ball slowly trickling across the field Ooh, stinger almost getting out of the way of the demos there but of course when there's four players on the orange team highly unlikely Fun pinch attempt there from Mountain, can't quite get it off, and oh dear. Oh, the ball is trickling near the goal. Oh, what will the orange team do? Oh, absolutely nothing. Celebratory demos between Heater and Hound as the ball goes in, and we have a tie game here between the beginner bots. I feel like this is the most exciting part of the whole game, just seeing what happens on kickoff, and okay, we got a few more there, but nothing, nothing too insane. Although, Orange very strongly won that kickoff. I am noticing a bit of a trend though, like a bot will go for the ball, and if they either hit it too light, or it like bounces and they can't judge it, they kind of just stop. And then there's another bot coming in behind them, who just rams them right up the butt, and blows them up, which is highly entertaining. Ball rolling slowly into the corner, Khan giving an attempt to control it, Roundhouse is having none of that. A Stinger has decided to ignore the ball and chase Squall around the field. We'll have to see how that develops. Mountain and Roadhouse having a bit of a disagreement there. And oh, it looks like uh, Squall had enough of Stinger's antics and decided to turn around on him. It is absolute carnage on the field right now. I don't even know who's still alive and Khan has pretty much given up. Stinger, go ahead and gets the clear, rolls it very slowly into Orange's corner. I'm sure Orange is going to look to not demo each other here. Oh, never mind, there they go. Mountain gonna get the clear here. Let's see if he can secure that open net. No, Stinger takes him out. Heater has a chance to save it. Let's see if he can get around it. No, oh dear, he just puts it into his own net. That is very unfortunate. We've all been in that situation. The person pushing the ball down the field gets demoed and you think, oh yes, I can get back. And then you realize that it's fruitless. So instead of letting the other team score, you score on yourself. Oh dear, here comes the ball, another slow roller. Heater has had enough of his team's antics and just drives straight around it. And Orange scores again. What is happening to the blue team right now? As we come into the final 10 seconds here, it does not seem like Orange is going to be dropping this lead anytime soon. And they have secured the first win in what I guess we can call a bot demo ball. But the real question everyone wants the answer to is how many demos occurred in that game? Well, based on my rough calculations of attempting to count the demos that appeared in the right corner, I saw a total of 90 demos in that 5 minute match from the beginner bots. Now I don't know if that's going to be a hard score to beat, we are going to be seeing some bots that will move significantly faster, and we'll have to see what they do, but for right now, 90 is a pretty solid score. 
And with that, we come to the rookie bots. These guys will move a bit faster, so let's see what happens here on kickoff. And they're all dead. Perfect. That is... Sure, yep, all eight of them died in one moment. No one on the field for three seconds. That's fantastic. And the absolute carnage continues. So this game looks already like it will be a bit more interesting in terms of explosiveness. We will have to follow how this goes as the game moves along. Ball bounces safely into the orange corner here. Blue trying to make a turnaround on it. Everyone's dead, so it's not really that easy. Orange continues to demo themselves in net, and Poncho is going to secure a goal off of it. You know, watching this is really making me start to believe that whichever team can stop demoing themselves first is going to be the team that can really capitalize on the other team's mistakes. It helps if you have someone in goal and don't blow up everyone that's already there. Little bit of a tip, don't blow up your own teammates. Another kickoff and another six demos. Man, we are racking them up here. Salty doing his best to keep this ball trapped in the corner. Everyone dives in and demos galore. Scout is confused and lost, but somehow does manage to get the clear. What patience there by Scout to realize there was no imminent threat and to get that clear out with everything exploding around him. Orange continues to struggle to get the ball out of their own half. With demos raining in from everywhere, it has been, I think, the entire game has almost been spent on this orange side of the field. We have not played very much on the blue side. Look at the control from Heater. Takes his and Raja's life for it, but he does manage to get control of the ball and get a little back pass, and Blue is right back in possession on the orange side of the field. This is terrible for the orange team. They really gotta find a way to control this ball and get the ball out of their half. However, when you're always dead, because you keep getting demoed every time you move, it's a little hard to do that. Again, Raja and Heater having a bit of a disagreement about how to get the ball out, but it's still working. Blue is keeping the ball away from the dangerous zone, and now Orange is trying to take control of the demo game and really show Blue what they're made of. Hasn't come of anything just yet, but we are heading towards the last minute. We are going to need to see them be maybe a bit more aggressive in order to make this work. Oh dear, no, is that an own goal? Oh no. Armstrong trying to control the ball into the corner. Heater gets a nice little tip up the wall. Everyone panics. Demo's flying it everywhere. Scout, who had demonstrated such patience the first time, unable to get the ball out that time and accidentally tips it into his own net. Oh dear, the tragedy. Can Orange bounce back from this? Not with everyone dead on kickoff. Raja now has control of the ball. Let's see what he does with it. Decides to just leave it for Rex, who has a much better line. What a smart play by Raja there. As we head into the last 30 seconds here, if Orange is going to make a move, they need to do so now. Ball is bouncing precariously in front of Blue's net, but no one is there to finish the shot. Heater tips it over the last line of Orange's defense. Accidentally played off Maverick. This is going to be very dangerous for Orange. Oh dear, more team demos. Raja secures the open net. Oh no, and the team demos come back to strike Orange again. What can they do to avoid these? It's simply impossible. The ball is bouncing in a place that they need to slow down to secure it, and a teammate rushing back just causes absolute carnage in front of the net, and it's unavoidable. With that, I do believe the win has been secured for the blue team. Not before more carnage on the kickoff, and the field is left basically empty. Peter and Armstrong feel left out, so they want to be included in the demo fun, but as the clock ticks down, that will do it. And with that, the blue team has secured the second game of Bot Demo Ball. But of course, the question is how many demos did these guys get? Now, if we remember, the beginner bots had gotten 90 demos in 5 minutes, which was quite insane. But you can probably tell by watching this game that there was inevitably quite a few more. And you will not be disappointed to find out that the rookie bots accumulated roughly 127 demos in 5 minutes. That is an insane number all right and here we go we are kicking off the pro game now these guys will be the first to use boost so we'll have to see a little bit of carnage not exactly as much as the start of the uh, rookie game we will have to see if the boost supplies more demos or less we'll be very interested to find that out you can definitely tell that the pace has been picked up here we'll have to see what that means in terms of demos and here we have the first bot wiggle coming in from c block as we know that is a staple of the bots gameplay and oh my what a passing plan i do not know what is going on with the orange team but they seriously need to stop demoing themselves in their own net look at that just took each other out of the play interesting pass play between the blue team but it does result in a goal which is not what you want to see 
As we come to kickoff here, we're expecting more demos, and we are not disappointed. People going at each other left and right here at the start of this game. Khan gets the clear out, and I think we're about to see an absolute bloodbath here on the field as the ball is just kind of rolling around, and everyone's in the general vicinity of the ball. This is probably not going to end well. There's another one. Do we see any more coming here? Oh, there's another team demo between Samara and Roadhouse. Or Roundhouse, Salty and Khan also going at each other. Jester and Storm having an argument, as well as Meryl and Seablock. I think every player on the field got involved in the demo action there. Samara trying to play it patiently and forgets that he's going to get demoed from behind if he waits too long. Ball bouncing out in the blue half. Myrtle gets a nice touch to roll it slowly back towards the orange goal. This is always a bad area. Roundhouse trying to clear it out. Oh dear, he puts it right into his goalie, who luckily jumps up and is prepared to make a save. But that was a horrifying touch there from Roundhouse. Orange is very lucky to not have given up a goal there as the demos continue to rain in. These corners are extremely dangerous places because the bots just magnetize towards the ball and there's nowhere to go in the corner where you're safe from being demoed. Ooh, big opportunity for Orange. Oh dear, Jester accidentally puts it back into the corner. That's not what you want to see. And we come into the last 15 seconds here. Oh my, what a save by Blue. They're holding up the goal line defense absolutely immaculately. The ball rolls out. Jester's going to need to try to keep this in and Storm ensures that is not an option. And that is a goal scored by Storm, and that will go ahead and finish up this game here for the blue team. Now, as always, even with blue securing the win, we do have to wonder how many demos were secured in that game. And the goal to beat was 127, and unfortunately, they did not even come close to that, actually being significantly closer to the beginner bots, with only securing 100 demos. So, so far, Rookie Bot's still holding strong at 127. We have one more type of bot. Let's see if the All-Stars can have anything to say about it. Here we go. We got the All-Star game all hooked up here. These guys are going to be fast and furious flying around the field. Look at the carnage off the kickoff. They just flew right into that. And oh dear, an early miss from Tusk. Scout secures that. Clearly, Tusk was not prepared for everyone on his team to be gone. And that responsibility to fall on his shoulders to go ahead and get that clear. He just couldn't do it. Scout's going to secure that one early. So now we know that the boost that the Probots had did not do enough as the blue team completely obliterates themselves. Oh, interesting pass play there from Orange, but no one there to finish it. The boost that the Probots have did not do enough to allow them to get a lot of demos. I feel like... They were moving around the field quickly, but because they were moving around the field quickly... Oh, no, hold that thought. What happened here? Dude keeping it in. Scout hits it right into Orm Armstrong. Yuri trying to get back and collides right with Sentis. Oh dear, the thing that has been plaguing the orange team all day. Finally comes back to bite the blue team right in the rear. Oh no, that is not what you want to see. Sentis trying to get the clear out here, ball rolling back towards the midfield line. Dude tries to keep it in and is unable to, but Roundhouse will do the job for him. Dude circles back around and gets the touch into the corner. Yuri tries to control into that corner and demos Roundhouse while he's at it. Sentis awkward touch, Yuri and Scout demo each other, which leaves the net wide open. Oh no, again. Oh, the blue team just keeps having this bite them. Running back to net, demoing your own teammate, leaving the net wide open for Tusk. Oh no. We're gonna have to see if Blue can bounce back now from two goals that are pretty much caused by their own fault. And you can definitely see the frustration as they plow right into that center circle, murdering everyone inside. Roundhouse finds himself with a breakaway. Can he get around it? Oh no, accidentally puts a double touch off the back wall and clears it out. That is unfortunate. Kind of destroyed any chance of a follow-up there for the orange team. But he's back again, putting the ball into the middle. Oh, can Armstrong finish it? Oh, what a save by a scout. What an absolute dive of a save. After all kinds of demos happened for the blue team and you thought the net might be open again. Oh, gosh, blue team, please stop hurting yourselves. You're killing me, man. Is the net open again? Oh, dear, it is. They just can't stop blowing themselves up. Sentis gets the save here. Dune's gonna try to keep it in up the side wall. Gonna try to force it mid. Yuri doing his best to keep it out of the middle. Shot coming in. Samara gets the save. Put his right back to Dune and he slots it in. This is getting really out of hand for the blue team really quickly. Luckily, at least, it was not them demoing themselves that caused this goal. 
So Mario did the best he could there with that save, but unfortunately put it right back into the path of Dude who was right there to capitalize. We are going to need to see major moves here from the blue team in the last minute and a half if they have any hope of coming back in this game. Roundhouse trying to get the clear over to Tusk. Tusk gets taken off the field. Armstrong's going to have to do well here. Roundhouse takes it away from Armstrong. No! And oh dear, Dude is unable to do anything in net as the ball comes at him unexpectedly. Roundhouse really should have let this for Armstrong. He had a much clearer angle and he put it right into the path of Yuri. With that, Blue has given themselves some hope here as everyone gets taken off the field once again. That's not a good touch from Orange either, but they do manage to get control of the ball back and get the clear out. Blue is on a tight schedule here in order to get back into this one. We are heading into the final minute here and it looks like quite the awkward situation here in the corner. Ball bouncing towards the mid, Yuri coming in for the shot and oh man, what a scorcher there from Yuri. Puts it right in the top corner, there is not much that the goalie and net and Armstrong there is going to be able to do about that one. That is just a clean and brilliant strike there by Yuri. Putting the blue team within one goal, they still have a chance here. We have reached the final 20 seconds here and blue team is putting on all the pressure. They're doing everything they can to get this ball in front of the goal. There it is, but no one's there to finish the shot. Blue is retreating back to get the ball. Tusk, what a block. 10 seconds left. They're going to have to make a move now. They don't have much time left. Ball bouncing dangerously in the middle. No one's there for orange. No one's there for blue either. Oh no, the ball bounces back to the corner. They need to keep it up. Can they do it? It's still in the air. Is anyone there to keep it alive? Doesn't look like they are. Orange is scrambling. More demos, but no, no one's there from blue to do anything about it. And orange scrambling away with the victory what an exciting end to that game and with that orange claims our final game here in bot demo ball but of course we need to know did the all-stars manage to topple the record set by the rookies who would have thought this would be a battle anyone would ever be talking about as a reminder the rookies managed to claim 127 demos and the all-stars 115 they were 12 short, and with that, the rookie bots claim the title of the most explosive bot in Rocket League. With that, that will wrap it up for today's video. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If there is any other suggestions you have for anything you'd like to see me make the bots do and commentate over, or any other videos you'd like me to do in general, just go ahead and throw those down in the comments below. As always, thank you everybody so much for watching as I greatly appreciate it. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like, hit that subscribe button, and turn on notifications. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time. See you later, guys.